Hello everyone, it's Attack Submitted 2 here, and for today, so we have gotten ourselves some latest Nintendo news to talk about for today's video, and the topic we are about to discuss is about the upcoming Super Mario RPG Remake. It is about to release within 6 days on the 17th of November, and I can't believe we're nearly this close to this game's release. It still feels like a fever dream that this is actually happening, and given the fact that, that was it was announced at the same time as Mario Bros. Wonder, this was one of my most anticipated games to get by this year, and the fact that this will be Nintendo's final game for 2023, I think this is a good send-off given the fact that this entire year was filled with really great releases and games. Well, the question is, is that for those who haven't pre-ordered this yet, since I've already pre-ordered my copy, the question is, who were the developers behind the remake of Super Mario RPG Legends of the Seven Stars? Now, the thing about it though is that back when it was first released, it was being developed with the Nintendo went by Nintendo, but also Square Enix. Enix, which was bad, which at the time they were called Squaresoft. However, ever since its announcement back in June of 2023, it was unknown on who exactly is developing this game, especially since the remake itself looks really good. The only one, the only developer we know that is in this project was Yoko Shimamura, who is the composer who made a lot of well known games from Square Enix, like the Kingdom Hearts music and a few remixes in the Smash Bros. franchise. However, it seems that we've got the reports of the developer developers that is behind the RPG remake and it's not Nintendo, surprisingly. Heck, it's not even Square Enix. According to Stealth, apparently, Mario RPG's remake is not made by Square, Nintendo, Grezzo, or Camelot. It is Art Piazza. And for those who don't know who Art Piazza is, they are a studio that, are, you know, that is, that is associated with Square Enix, and they are known for being part of almost the entire series of the Dragon Quest franchise, which kind of explains why the graphics and basically the remake feels so fateful. And and as of recently in their game's lineup, they had the, they were the ones that also developed the 2D mode for both Dragon Quest 11, Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of an Elusive Age, and its Switch version of its definitive edition, which I can definitely see why that's the case. Out of all the developers, I never thought it'd be Art Piazza of all things, especially given the fact that they were associated with Square Enix since the third Dragon Quest game. So, yeah, I know, so if it, now, I'd be wondering why this is considered news to be exact. Well, that's because even though the remake looks good, some were a little bit skeptical on who is exactly behind it, given the fact that this game at the t back then was being developed by Square Enix, and we know how they're strict they are with a copyright, but now we know that it's none other than Art Piazza. Otherwise, I am really excited for this remake. If this news convince you to actually buy the game this time, and if you are a fan of the Dragon Quest franchise in general, then this could be a game for you, and for those who want to experience the very first Mario RPG game since ever since then, I feel like this is a good oppor opportunity for every Nintendo fan, and for those who've been asking for Geno and Smash Brothers, to try this game out, and I can't wait to get this, I've already pre-order my copy, and it's great to know that this is a new, that this is a developer that is pretty well known associated with Square Enix, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you all think of the studio reveal that is making this new, the upcoming Mario RPG remake, do you think, are you excited for this game even more, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and so with that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time, and re remember this, once a legend, always a legend.